Hi there, this is Andrew, and welcome to this quick video that contains some advice and tips for ESL students. As an ESL student, you've likely traveled very far to live in Victoria and attend UVic. And it's also likely that you found you have a much greater challenge studying in English than your Canadian classmates. In this course, there are several assignments where you'll need to record yourself speaking and to write professionally. Some ESL students have found these tasks harder than they expected, so this video will help you work proactively to ensure you get the grade you're hoping for. We're going to talk about how to get help on campus, how to study in the course, how to make sure you don't plagiarize, and how to get extra help from me. In this course, you'll need to publish an online blog, so getting assistance with your grammar, vocabulary, and clarity will likely help you if you're still learning academic level English. There are several places on campus you can go to get extra help with your English for assignments. You can visit the UVic Writing Center, the International Commons in the library, or investigate extra support from your home department. The business program, for example, has an English tutor that you can see on a weekly basis. Each of these services has information online about how to use them, so you should look into them to see what help is available. Every week, there'll be new lessons and activities for you to watch and complete. You should look at your schedule this semester and set aside a morning or afternoon each week to complete your work. Each week should take you between one and four hours if no assignments are due, but some weeks will be heavier than others. This course also has a few quizzes that require you to watch the course lessons very carefully. You can watch the lessons as many times as you want, and there are accompanying PowerPoint handouts that you can review more methodically. It's a good idea to watch the videos every week when they're assigned, and to watch them once more before taking each quiz. Lastly, very soon, you should carefully review the course assignment dates in the course syllabus, and make a plan to complete drafts of each assignment one week before they're due. I know this can be difficult if you struggle with motivation, but getting work done early will allow you to seek feedback from me to see how your work can be improved before it's graded. You can email me anytime with questions, but I may not be able to help you in time if you ask for feedback too close to assignment deadlines. This is why getting work done early is very important. Some ESL students who are new to Canadian University do not fully understand plagiarism. Plagiarism means using other people's writing or major ideas and presenting them as your own. In university, you need to paraphrase or quote other people's writing and give adequate citations so your reader knows where the text came from. This means that you have to be very careful to put ideas that you read into your own words without copy-pasting. If you copy-paste text from the internet, there's a very high chance that I will know, which will reduce your mark and possibly cause you to fail the assignment. If you're struggling with how to paraphrase or cite, please email me and I can suggest some resources. If you want extra help getting the support you need to succeed, please email me with your questions. I'm happy to give you feedback on your work if you complete it early, suggest additional resources that can help you, or help you solve any problems that you may be having in the course. I can also meet you via Skype if you'd prefer to talk. Although Canadian University can be challenging, you don't need to struggle. Working proactively and getting the support you need when you need it will help you succeed in this challenge and make you a stronger person for it. Thanks for watching and I wish you the best in this course and your academic career.